Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer where you're coming across this error message when attempting to access a certain settings page and says that the page is not available. The page you are trying to access has no support features and is not available. And this typically has to do with the Windows security application. So that's what we're going to be focusing on in today's tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in settings. Best match or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select apps. And then on the right side, underneath apps, you want to select the installed apps button. In the search apps field, you want to search for Windows security. Best match or come back with Windows security. Go ahead and select the three-dotted icon next to it and select Advanced Options. And then you want to scroll down again underneath Reset. If the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select Repair. And then see if you're still experiencing the issue after trying that. If you're still having an issue, you can select the Reset option. If the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset, and then select Reset again. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point, your issue should have been resolved. If you are still having a problem, you can try opening up the search menu. Type in Group Policy. Best match, or come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath Computer Configuration, you want to double click on the Administrative Templates folder. And you want to do the same thing for the Windows Components folder as well. And then you want to go down to the Microsoft Defender Antivirus and double click on it. On the right side, where it says Turn Off Microsoft Defender Antivirus, go ahead and double click on that. Make sure it's either set to Not Configured or Disabled. So disabling that policy setting, you can even see it over here. The antivirus will run regardless of any other installed antivirus product. If you select Not Configured, Windows will internally manage the antivirus, so meaning if you have a third-party antivirus you choose to install, Windows will disable its own antivirus. So pretty straightforward on that, guys. I would just select Not Configured as my default option. However, you can attempt to select Disable. Just keep in mind if you have multiple antiviruses installed, that could lead to some conflicting issues on your computer. So generally, I would suggest selecting Not Configured here. And then you would close out of this and then restart your computer. Again, assuming you had to make any changes in there. So again, restart your device. And then hopefully at this point your issues should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.